Song of Solomon 2 verses 8 to 14. By Ken Hardesty. Listen to the voice of the Beloved as He calls to you. Rise up, my love, my fair one and come away. For lo, winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come. Do those words move your soul? I think you would have to be a bit wooden, not to mention insensitive, to not be moved by the words of the bridegroom to you as bride. They express the desire of his heart toward you and me. Not only do they speak prophetically of a day to come, when we will hear the bridegroom call us home, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17. These are indeed words of comfort to a weary heart. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18, but these words also speak to our hearts of a present reality. These words of the bridegroom speak of a present desire in the heart of our beloved. We hear in these precious words, the desire in the heart of the beloved Son of God for your fellowship and mine. He calls to us, day after day saying, Rise up, and come away, I have brought deliverance to you, I have seen you through the winter and the rain and storms of sin's hold on you have passed. I have made things new, flowers appear. Yet far too often, my beloved saints, we do not heed his call. We have allowed the things of life to deaden our ears to his still small voice. He desires to fill your heart with singing, he longs to satisfy your deepest longings with water from his bottomless well yet we too quickly become satisfied with the cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. Jeremiah 2 verse 13 The prophet under inspiration of the Holy Spirit spoke words that resonate through all ages down to our own condition today. For my people have committed two evils, they have forsaken me, the fountain of living water and hewn for themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. What cisterns have we hewn to try and fill our lives and satisfy the soul? Your beloved desires to rejoice over you with gladness, he will quiet you in his love. He will rejoice over you with singing, Zephaniah 3 verse 17. How disappointed he must be when we do not appear before him. Oh, my beloved brethren, may we hear his call, and set aside the busyness and business of the day, and rise up, and heed the beloved's call, and, come away. You will not regret it. O oh Christ he is the fountain, the deep sweet well of love. The streams on earth I've tasted, more deep I'll drink above. There too an ocean's fullness. His mercy doth expand, and glory, glory dwelleth, in Emmanuel's land. Ken H. Hardesty